Hello everybody and welcome back to the channels. We're doing an American Airlines first class flight overview. A short trip from Raleigh Charlotte on the A321 and Charlotte to Columbus in first class in the CRJ900. Please enjoy. Hey, good morning everybody. It is a very early morning here in the Raleigh-Durham parking garage. Getting ready to head out on a couple of first class flights today. The uh, first first class flight is going to be from Raleigh to Charlotte, which should be a pretty short flight here on American Airlines. And that is going to be flight 2952 on the Airbus A321. Like I said, it's going to be a pretty short one. And then from there, I'm going to be going from uh, Raleigh, Durham to Columbus, Ohio. So it uh, should be a pretty fun day. And just, uh, you know, a couple of segments on first class to kind of show you how things are and uh, what you can expect. So uh, stay tuned and uh, keep on watching. Quick glimpse of the ticket on my phone there as we are getting on board. Um, not a lot of expectations for this flight, pretty much just a drink on board for a little bit before the uh, takeoff. Nice comfortable seat for about 25 minutes or so and that should be about it as we're getting on the plane here and stepping on inside the door. Um, this is going to be seat, I believe it's 1F there, as you can see me kind of getting everything ready and squared away. And uh, you're going to get a quick view of the seat here, nice comfortable, nice headrest and a view here. You can see the foot space there. Um, it's uh, about an economy plus foot space, which, you know, it's kind of what you expect. A little shot of the overhead there. Um, you've got the push button here, recliner there on the uh, left armrest. A little bit of armrest space there. You can see the green light from the uh, plug if you need to plug anything in to charge it. A little bit of space for the drink there as well. Um, kind of shifting over to you can see I've already got my pre-flight coffee in for the uh, short flight there and a trip to the propaganda with the A321 and the flight arrangement and the view out the window of the uh, plane next door. Um, nothing too special there, just another space for the uh, thing and of course the nice and comfortable movable headrest which you're falling asleep coming in.
to remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt sign is turned off. And keep the aisles clear of all carry-on items. Take a moment to check your seat back pocket for any personal items, like tablets and cell phones. So as we're getting out of the plane here, got about an hour and a half uh, until the next flight. So going to kill some time on, around the airport and also get a little bit of footage for the uh, video here as we're getting off the airplane here and through Charlotte International Airport. The next flight is going to be taking off from the E-Gates, which of course is probably one of the least popular terminals in the United States of America because of how kind of small and cramped it is for all kind of the shorter commuter flights fly into and out of. So. As you can see here, here is a little bit of that journey to the dreaded E-Terminal. And um, as this goes on, um, you know, for my next flight, I'm going to be in first class sitting in 1A on the CRJ900. And of course, uh, we're going to be getting into expectations here in a little bit because while it is a first class ticket, you know, you got to have a pretty reasonable expectations and comfortable seat. You know, of course, pre-flight drink, you know, it's always a little bit of a plus and a snack. Obviously, you know, it's not like a flight across the country. You're not going to get like a full meal or anything like that. And you're not going to be like, you know, getting a live flat seat or anything. It's just the basic like hour 15, hour 30 minute flight and all. So always make sure to keep your expectations minimal or reasonable for the uh, flight, the length and the plane you're going to be on when you're traveling. Of course, we're looking here now we're at the seat through the propaganda there, shot at the overhead with the uh, air and the lights, none of which are I really use. Nice view of the Jordan boarding jet bridge there, and of course another American Airlines plane. Uh, flipping through, nothing really new there, health information, yada yada, you can see the foot space there. Got your tray table there in the left, which is not going to be used. A little space for the drink, and you can see the little headrest, uh, about as comfortable as the first one really, and a little push button recliner there. So of course it's 1A on a smaller plane, so it's not going to quite be the same seat as it was on the Airbus A321. And that pretty much completes the overview. Um, overall, for both the flights, the seats were pretty solid. Um, the drinks and snacks, they existed, and the uh, overall grade was also okay. Like I said, it's two, two short first class flights on some pretty short segments, so you're not gonna be getting like, you know, life flat seats and full meals. But overall, for what it was, it was, uh, it was okay and pretty solid. Um, both planes were on time, not delayed at all. And um, it was pretty much your typical uh, small plane first class experience there on American Airlines. So 
overall pretty solid, no flaws. And uh, yeah, it's uh, an overview of just two really short flights in first class and kind of what you can expect. So hopefully you learned something and had a good time and uh, also enjoyed a little bit of the uh, kind of travel, travel experience. As always, thank you for watching the channel. Please like and subscribe.